All right, so we're here again at Fredericksburg Equine with Dr. Muskoski, and we've got a case that we're gonna show you guys how sometimes it can be deceptive. You can have a horse that overtly doesn't seem to have any issues, and when you look in the mouth at first, it looks like everything's healthy, but if you look for some of the little clues and, and subtle indications, you can see that you actually have a severe dental disease. So uh, we're gonna show you guys a picture right now that we're gonna put up of the mouth before. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in a little bit here and show you guys. So if we look closer though, we can see how these pulps are dark and they're black. They should be normally a brown color covered with secondary dentin. And I can actually take a needle and it goes inside of here. This is abnormal. The needle should not be able to go into these pulps. So this horse had five open pulps. The pulp is where the live part of the tooth should be in the, where the nerves and blood vessels are. And there's five on this particular tooth. This is a number 210 and they're all open. And you can see this feed. This is essentially manure. Basically it's food and fermented bacteria that is, that's inside the pulp. So we know that this tooth was infected. Okay, so if we look, this tooth here has got nice, normal, healthy roots. Same here. We can actually see where the pulp is going into the root right in here. Uh, but this tooth here, we can see some irregularities. Um, it's just not very smooth. And we can see how there's this kind of mushrooming effect. We're actually going to show you another x-ray. Uh, one more. Uh, this is a little bit different view. This is a very important uh, view of the palatal side and we can see how we have this enlargement and this irregular appearance So one of the common themes that you'll see in all the videos is we're always showing that you need to tie together What you find in the mouth with the radiographs just looking at radiographs alone is bad practice uh, You have to take into context a clinical picture what's going on But here we started with our oral exam findings and then that led us to some suspicion about the health of the tooth and then now we confirm that with radiographs and that helps us for surgical planning. So we extracted the tooth orally, took about uh, 30 minutes, maybe something like that. And now we'll show you guys what uh, the tooth looks like when we section it. Here's the tooth now that we've got extracted. So you can see it's pretty long. We've cut it in pieces after we extracted it. So this is the part we we're looking at a second ago. So now we cut this over and you can see again, these open pulps right in here where this should normally be red from blood vessels and nerves. This is all food and bacteria going into the tooth. And then if we cut one more layer into it a little bit deeper, we can see all the way up to the root, we have, look at this, this is all food and bacteria and debris going all the way up to the roots. And this was why antibiotics don't fix dental disease uh, because there's no amount of antibiotics that can get into this tooth to get rid of all this infection. If we look at the root, we can see all that remodeling that we saw on the x-ray here, all this irregularity. So there is no saving this tooth, and that's why it had to be extracted. The takeaway is that sometimes you don't see outside signs of dental disease. That's why a good dental exam is important. And then once you find something, uh, it's important to know how to interpret the imaging and what to do with it and kind of develop a prognosis, diagnosis, and then a good good treatment. So in this case, this horse is going to feel a lot better without this tooth, and there is no chance of saving it. So.